Hello everybody and today we are going to be showing you how to get to the end in Minecraft. This is going to require a few little steps. But this is going to be my method of how to get to the end. So first off you go into settings and you press show why you first go into settings and press show coordinates. That's your first step. Now you go and exit your my your worlds, and now you copy it. So you copy your world first, and we just go away a bit, and I'll show you. We so now you go down here and you press that copy world. So there you go. You're copying your world. So now once you copy your world, you go into the or copied world and you set the game mode to creative. Or you just enable cheats. Why do you do this? Is because if you you would lose your benefits of getting cheats. So everything you do now, you will not be benefiting from getting all those achievements. So you cannot rub it. You cannot rub into your face with all your amazing cheats. So this is so now you go on and activate cheats. I have copied the world already, as you can see down below. And uh, now you're going to go down and activate cheats, like I already did. So now you're going to go and type in slash locate strong. Oh. Stronghold. I think everyone knows how to spell that. Now this part you will need a, you need to screenshot it down. So like you grab your phone and or anything you screenshot and you keep checking out where your location is. So I'm gonna do that. So like you, you press on you press the the chat button or whatever. There we go. One. So now we're going to head off to. We're going to go back into your previous world, and now. And now you go into. Just a sec. And now you're going to go back into your world. And now you're going to go back into your non-copied version and now we're going to go and look through the astronaut. So without further ado, let's head to the astronaut I am talking about. So once it works, we're going to tell look for the astronaut. Now make sure if you can't do anything where you're there. Make sure to quit it because it will be very useful for your way to any version. So now you just want to go off and go to those coordinates that you said. So I'll see you guys right at the stronghold. So now you're you're at the end portal. Make sure to uh, make sure just to grab any loot you want. I have not really seen it. Sorry about this. Someone's messing me. Just be careful of these things. Uh, so now you just want to go around and find your portal. Remember everyone, not every single stronghold is going to be the same. Uh, just remember, do not follow my steps. You will eventually get yourself lost. Also please just keep something so you know where you are. Because I don't want any player getting lost around here. So these are big. If you like, you can see these places are are very confusing and like a maze. Just please make sure I'll place torches. Don't do it with this allocation. Just do it. Like always, just quit any route you find. 
because they could come in useful. I mean, if you've already progressed enough to get to the end, don't think you really need to get some some of those stuff. Where is the end portal? I just see you guys want to find the end portal. It's like these places are big. I'm gonna just see you guys want to find it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm all picking the devil. Here's here it is, the end portal. So first things of all, I haven't taught you the other important steps. So uh, how do you make this end portal? How do you? What do you need? You see this little idea? You could need to get them. How? So we go down into. So, you see these little creatures, let me find them now, there, I can't find them. Uh, so you see these? You, if you see these, you craft, you, you slay them. Ah, let me just grab uh, a sword. Just make sure the Ender Dragon is a fairy. So you kill these. Oh wait, I'm killing them with her. There you go. So you kill those. So you kill these weird mobs. These ones here. And you get a thing called an ender pill. Next thing to do is. Next thing to do is you go out and kill a thing in the nether called a blaze. So these normally spawn in ender fortresses. So these are a bit more rare. Because of the new update. So. Here is a place. And. Wait. You normally would encounter them. In the, they will normally. They will normally. Uh, throw fireballs. Uh, so I. Just. Prepared when you're tackling. Because they can be quite tough. So once you. Uh, do a bit of. Oh, so. You just keep killing them and you will eventually they'll drop like a I don't know what it's called now actually. So I am pretty unprofessional. Sorry yeah, it's got a pretty red drop weight of what you will need. And there you go, this is what you will need. A blaze rod. So then you would craft it into a blaze powder. And then you would mix the blaze powder out or whatever. Uh, let me just drop grab a crafting table to show you. Uh, you would craft this into blaze powder. And then you would put it next to the ender pearl from the... And you'll get an eye of ender. Next, next up you do it in this pattern. There, you are normally filling the in at the end. Just make sure you do it in this correct pattern. Any other pattern will go horribly wrong and it will not work. So, here's just an example. You and you cannot break the portals. That's another thing, as well. So here's an example. You at once you place the IU vent, you cannot get it out. Oh I said just break it. So once you you see you can if you do it in this part like if you get one wrong you cannot break them. So make sure I am not a complete expert, so just make sure you get in the right power. So once you have made, sorry about that, I, I'm a noob. Please, if none of these tips work, I'm sorry. Uh, but 
Now you've made your portal, you're gonna go in it. You shouldn't really break these because once you've broken them, they don't work properly anymore. And now we've prevented your red dimension. I'm I'm just going like fishing potion so I could look through the. Uh, oh no, we don't. Now once you're gone, you're gonna fight this ferocious dragon. This. So I I uh, going to uh, kill it real quick with my Neverite sword. Uh, so just see you guys. And I will make sure. Let me just kill the dragon without. So this is how you do you when you're in survival you just knock out these end crystals. And now, once you've cleared those off, you would want to hit, hit that drag, the uh, hit the dragon. So you're just gonna try and take out the dragon. You just stand around here and wait for the dragon to come around. I know you're just gonna keep playing it. Until it's dead. Now you're in the end. Uh, how you get to the, how do you get to the end? Is you get an ender pill, and you just climb up with any block you have, or the end stone, whatever. Just any block, and then you just throw an ender pill inside here. And there you go. Everyone. You're in the end. City. This way you can get an elytra. And and this way you can uh, you just look and you can see the big chart you the, the the things called the end ships. I'll show you what you'll be looking for. Uh, just be with me in a for a few seconds, and I will tell you what you're looking for. I can't find it. Wait a minute. I think you just do. I think you should do either the last walk on your creative mode. Uh, well, it would be pretty easy, but then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go and put do the whole steps again. Where is the tower? Ah, uh, here is one, and you'll be looking for one of these. I think these look hideous. I'm gonna wait, look, go down it in the bottom spot, and there you go. You'll find a structure block. Oh, what was the sugar block then? Uh, you got the things called the elytra, and that's how you get the elytra. Also, a few diamond armor, very nice indeed. And that's all, really. I hope you enjoy today's survival tips. Stay tuned for the survival tips for the never. So. Thank you for watching everyone, have a great day, see you guys later, goodbye!